Hey, what's going on internet? Joshua Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, I'm bringing you the top 10 plugins for After Effects, in my opinion, of course. The first plugin on our list is Tsunami by Red Giant. And typically, this is just a ocean generating plugin. You can use this effect to get underwater shots and to do a lot of motion shots above the water. And it's really cool. It's a really fun plugin to work with. Next up is Video Copilot's Twitch. You know, this is a very popular effect um, in the motion graphics and visual effects community. You know, Twitch adds a distortion to the image uh, through just, you know, jumping and sliding. And uh, also it adds one thing that I really like about it is RGB splitting. Um, it's really easy to do that. And this effect is just awesome. At number eight, we have Denoiser from Red Giant. If you do any video producing, you should have this plugin in your kit. It's absolutely amazing. It cleans up your footage, um, and it's really probably the best plugin on the market for removing uh, film grain out of your image. At number seven, we have Red Giant once again uh, with Magic Bullet Looks, and this thing is just absolutely fun to use, and it's amazing. Um, you can easily color correct your images or even motion graphics. With Magic Bullet Looks, you have you know exactly what you need for a professional uh, color grading and color correcting uh, software. At number six, we have Red Giant continuing to steal the show with Particular from the Trap Code Suite. This plugin absolutely kills all the built-in particle effects inside of After Effects. Just looking at this demo reel from Red Giant, there's so many different things you use this plugin for, and it's absolutely amazing for motion graphics and visual effects. At number five, we have what I like to consider an under-the-radar plugin called Pluxus from Robite. And essentially, you can create shapes, lines, and have fun animating this uh, plugin for you know animation and also uh, for visual effects. There's so many options you can use with this thing, and uh, creativity is just limitless. Our number four spot is taken by Video Copilot for their Optical Flares plugin. Obviously, this was going to be on the list, uh, but this plugin really is just amazing. There's a ton of uses for this plugin. You can use it for motion graphics. You can use it for uh, enhancing light sources on your video clip. And it's just a lot of fun to work with. And, you know, you can also use it for, you know, blending images together and, you know, enhancing other sorts of motion graphics. Just by looking at the reel, there's so much you can do. Number three is taken by Twixter from Revision Effects. Twixter can create really smooth slow motion by recreating frames. The footage on the screen right now is actually shot by myself at 30 frames per second. And as you can see, it's super smooth slow motion. And there's no way I would have gotten that with regular speed effects. And obviously Twixer gets better when you shoot at 60 frames per second or higher. Form from Red Giant is one of my favorite plugins. There's so many things you do this thing. And one of my favorite things is that you can bring in 3D objects and turn them into particles and then be able to animate you know, each of those layers. And it's just absolutely amazing what this plugin brings into After Effects by, by being able to import 3D objects and being able to turn them into particles to do so many things for motion graphics and for visual effects. And I believe number one is obvious at this point, but of course it's gonna be Element 3D from Video Copilot. I have to say that this plugin absolutely changed After Effects. I mean, being able to import 3D objects into After Effects and, and animate them, um, and be able to rotate them and retain, you know, lighting, you know, capabilities and texture, that's absolutely insane. And forget about doing 3D text, and other 3D software. I mean, you can do 3D text right into After Effects, and that is awesome. And then also being able to go to Cinema 4D and to make uh, adjustments to your 3D object in Cinema 4D and be able to automatically update in After Effects, just awesome. So that concludes my list for the top 10 After Effects plugins. Of course, in my opinion only, if you think that these are out of order or if I missed a couple of plugins that are not in this list, please let me know in the comments down below. For more tutorials on motion graphics and filmmaking, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sunduck Film, if you haven't already. And please be sure to check out my awesome behind the scenes Instagram page. Links in the description. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.